Live from the corners of the world, it's Late Night with Jess and Jam. And now, here's your host, Jesper Duskwood. Thank you, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, thanks everyone. No, seriously, thank you. My name is Jesper Duskwood, troubadour, versifier, and rhapsodist. And this is my worthy associate and most trusted confidant, Jamie and Morningsteel. And together, we have traversed the realms, slain the most horrid and foul creatures. We have explored the deepest depths of the Wilderdark and wooed the most beautiful women of all the lands. Well, let's, let's be honest here. When it comes to the wooing and the women, we all know that isn't your, um, well, your most primary talent. Oh, and I suppose that it's your specialty and I guess yours alone? Well, now, I wouldn't say it's a talent which belongs exclusively to me, but you are far better suited toward the sidekick game, are you not? Sidekick? Just because I went to school to learn sidecart dynamics? And when your hero was hungry, by his facial expressions, would have won? Well, <laughs> that, that makes me well, that, that makes me a sidekick. I mean, or, or or a squire. Oh, I like I like the sound of that. <laughs> but I digress. Here we are, with all of you beautiful people, and this wonderful place, the corners of the world, and best of all, it's late night. <laughs> Yes, yes, welcome. Welcome to Late Night with Jess and Jam. You know, we have a guest here in the studio today. We do. Introduce our guest, please. Here we have Graylin Faragor, Griever, King of the Felsworn Keep, Lord of Light and Shadow, the Eldritch Knight. Yes, thank you for having me. It is a pleasure to be here. You are our second Eldritch Knight. Did you know that? I uh, was unaware. I, the Wi-Fi at the Felsworn Keep is terrible. Well, don't all Eldritch Knights know one another? Uh, that I found to be a myth, and, um, you know, uh, at, at bars around the way they, they like to say that, but I've never found it to be true myself. Well, it, what I see here is that you are from Oertha. It's a beautiful place from what I understand. I've never been myself. Jamie, and have you been to Oertha? I couldn't even spell it. No, wouldn't. So couldn't couldn't make it there. You're from the eastern coast, is that correct, Palmino? Yes, that is true. As a boy, I was raised in Palmino and uh, taught swordsmanship by a scald from that region. It was a tough childhood. I wandered as an urchin from then on. And the streets are hard when you're a boy. Oh well. I... Wow. Well, that, well, that sounds terrible. It's Eldritch Knights have these. Tragic backstories. <laughs> what what, what was it like? So what? So you moved on though from there, and you you moved on to the old wood, correct? That is true. It it seemed that destiny had its hands in my decision, but I met with a fellow, Edric of House Ganon. It was, and he and I began enacting the legacy of the King's Swords. It was dark times. We lost many friends, but we grew in strength which helped us with our initial war against the dark forces of this realm. What, what were those dark forces? I'm, I'm afraid to ask. Not me. Of course not you. <laughs> no, it's, it's quite all right. I unfortunately was granted my powers by the devil Ezebrand, who wished to turn me into a witch knight and would have me live out his legacy in the world. But Edric and I fought against that legacy, climbing into hell itself to kill Ezerbrand and free my spirit from his bond. Oh, sounds... Sounds incre... I mean... Ask him, ask him, Jamie. Are you a god? I mean, are you a god? <laughs> I was... I mean, just from your title alone, is the, this is... These are all godlike proportions. He is a king. I did look into the light of godhood, but I denied it, passing it to Edric, who now sits on the throne of Bane <gasps> after we killed him. Of Bane? 
Indeed. Like, like, like Bane. The, the Bane. <laughs> Trapped in mortal form, we managed to kill him, and that is where my legacy was forced to end. Not many know I survive. Look at me. Look at the hairs on my very arm are standing on end. It's a truly impressive tale. Ah, it was a wonderful journey. Do you have fun at all? <laughs> we we tried, but for so long the land was blighted, and I worried so oft about my people. We brought in a number of jesters, but none of them served to lighten my spirits. That's actually how I found my way here, Jess. I I was gonna say, let me allow me to introduce a, a Jesper Duskwood here. He's if, if you want a jester, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I am he's funny to look at if nothing else. Isn't that right? <laughs> I have heard of your legacy, Jess. Um, perhaps you could give me a demonstration of your abilities. Oh, no, 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 uh, 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 that, that's not a good idea. That's not, I mean, just take him at his word. Just, I mean, just take him at his word. All right, we've got, how about, how about you, the adoring crowd? Would you like to see a trick? No, 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 it's too loud. Everybody's too loud. Just keep it. Let's just, uh, no. Uh, you know, there is something I can do that I dare say not many others can reproduce. Well, I would very much like to see it. This isn't this isn't what I think it is, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to hold my breath now, and God, when I do, go. when I do, I I want you to 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 just give me a fresh one right in the stomach, okay? <laughs> After I've held my breath for a really long time, okay? All right. So, not so don't gonna... don't. I'm look. I'm. I'm 57 pounds. Wait here. Don't don't hit me too hard. Just you know, enough to take my breath away. So, <gasps> like you're slapping a fairy. Just uh, oh, I guess he wants you to hit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not looking. Oh, I'll you strike him here. Here, yes. There we go. Oh my! No, don't look. Don't look directly at it. Yes. Oh my! No. Nope. What's happening? Ooh. It's hideous. Oh. I can see God, everything. I can, I can hear it. I'm not even looking at it, and I can hear it moving. I can see sounds. I, this, which eye am I supposed to look at? Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, this one, of course. Oh. Uh, well. <laughs> this is amazing. No, just look at just look at me. Just look at me. Look, just look at me. Just talk to me. Yes. So, Wild where magic. where it's where do your bit. travels it's, take you? I just. I'm still high where, from it, you know. <laughs> where where are you headed? Where don't look at him. Just look oh, at me. thank you. Just I, look at me. Whew, what a sight. No, don't do that. It'll go away in a moment. Don't worry. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's so large. Uh, yes, that's that's what that's that is correct. That's what they all say. Yes. Uh, I was going to say yes, oh, yes. It's, oh, I can feel it. Is it going away? <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna, I don't. I don't even wanna look. Uh, yes. Yes. It appears to be uh, yes. sinking once okay. more into your Ugh. forehead. Yes. Okay. Oh. God. Oh. That well, was weird. Your your reputation yes. certainly precedes you, Jess. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Quite powerful. So take him, please. <laughs> take him now. <laughs> oh, would you intend to join the Felsworn Kingdom? I never. I would love to visit someday, and perhaps I can appreciate the grandeur of the land. So you've saved it from all of these evils, correct? Our tale is over, yes. So, what's it like in the Felsworn Keep now? I fear I have not returned for some time, but I hear tell as people wander through the old wood. The city is prosperous. The politicians honest. The grain harvests full. It is more than I could ask for. Well, if at least two of those things are true, I don't know about you, but I don't know any Honest politicians. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there are a few politicians that help fund the show. But, uh, J uh, Jess, just say that. Uh, so yes, yeah, so, uh, so uh, Grayland, Grayland. Uh, let me see here. Uh, the future, Grayland. What, what, what does the future hold? I intend to return to the old wood that we have protected for so long. Many believe that I was killed in the battle with Bane, and I think it's best for my legacy if that remain true. Now I can offer aid to those wandering, those who are lost, in peace, and watch my kingdom from afar. Alone? Well, I have the memory of my Mara, and my paintings, which are quite magical in nature. Paintings? Magic? Indeed. The, now we're talking. The powers of the Lord Enlightened Shadow allowed me to 
create great images that I could pull the spirits of souls from within. I, before the great confrontation with Bane, pulled all of our fallen allies from a great mural that I had painted, and we faced him together. I'm not sure I want to see those paintings. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I want to see those paintings. But what if he traps you in one, Jamian? I, I, I mean, no, I'm sure I can charm my way out of it, like many other situations that I've There you go before, again, so. saying that you're charming. I just... It's, it's happening. Well, thank you for coming, and thank you for being here today, Greyland Faragor. It was certainly an honor to meet you, and I will take you up on that offer to swing by Awertha sometime and see your Felsworn Keep. It was my greatest pleasure. I was going to say, make sure you hit all of his titles. <laughs> oh, yeah, Greyland Faragor, Griever, King of the Felsworn Keep, Lord of Light and Shadow. <laughs> Quite a tale. Quite a tale indeed. Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, Jess, I shall... See to it that you get the finest accommodations upon arriving at the Felsworn Kingdom. Are there, are there beautiful ladies there? Oh yes. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, that sounds good wait, to me. Wait a, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Can, can I come? Can, uh, um, you know, uh, this uh, is a little. Uh, I, 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 I don't wish to be rude. Uh, you know what? Don't, don't even worry about it. I got, I got a bunch of other things going on. I mean, I really appreciate the. Yeah, I, I, I would, Thanks. obviously, right, okay. I would. If of course, you, of course, you know, you know how it, you know how it yeah, is. Fine. Next time, it's fine. yes, you know, I have a show. Time. Apparently, I have to put on by myself. Though. <sighs> we'll be right back. If you're ever out in the world, short on coin, and wondering how to use that cool new item you found in a dead orc's prison wallet. Well, the NPCs at D&D 420 have a solution for you. Contact the Barbarian Help Desk where helping's all the rage. What do you want? I'm me. How can I assist you today? Yeah, um, Barbarian Help Desk? I found this little weird cube. Uh, it has, like, water flips all over it. I was wondering if you could tell me what it does and how to activate it. Mm. Did you smash it? No. Did you get it wet? No. Well, did you get it wet and smash it? Mm, no. Well, that's your problem right there. Do it! Thanks, Barbarian Help Desk. You're a lifesaver. The NPCs at D&D 420 are always there for you. Call or message the Barbarian Help Desk today. All right, with us we have today in the studio, we have Brandon Allen McClenahan. Did I say that right? Did I say that right? It's a mouthful. You did. You nailed it. It's a mouthful. Uh, who just played Grayland Faragor. So, um, you know, you know, welcome to the show, and thank you for thank you for being here with us today. We, we certainly appreciate having you on. No, thank you guys so much for having me, man. I mean, it was a little hard to get here, but uh, I really like I really like what you guys are doing with the place. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, it looks good. In yeah, you can't, all the you can't really GPS to get here, so yeah. <laughs> you got to follow just, the map. Yeah, it kept saying turn right, and I turned right like six times, and then finally this door opened, and here I am. Look, that's the perfect number of times. It's divisible by three, and it's even. I mean, that's always good. So. <laughs> but what throws everybody off is you have to turn in the, in a single space. Like, you can't, like, turn, turn. Like, you're just turning in gotcha. at where like, you stand. That's like where Mario, people get Like confused. breaking the little bricks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like like paper Mario, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so you know, tell tell us a little bit about what you got going on over there at Weed D and D and Art Hard Studios. Yeah, man. So uh, Weed D and D presented by Art Hard Studios, which is my uh, production company as well. Um, we are trying to bring a pot positive twist on the tabletop streaming format. Um, we've compiled a, a kick-ass cast of just really awesome people from all over Las Vegas, performers from on and around the Strip. Um, and uh, we try to bring you some, some literal high fantasy. So um, trying to bring a little positive light to both the TTRPG community and break some stereotypes there as well as in the cannabis community and just trying to tell our story, play our way, and, you know, be all-inclusive, all lifestyle positive, you know. Let yeah, man. Yeah, do their I totally thing. 
I totally dig what you guys got going on over there. I'm a, I'm a listener. I follow on, on Twitch. Uh, you guys have a Twitch show that you also air on YouTube on on Fridays, right? Correct. Yeah, the Twitch stream is uh, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. PDT, and uh, and then we upload that stream to our YouTube channel, the Art Heart Studios YouTube channel, at uh, 4.20 on the following Friday. So what kind of got you started? Um, mainly just to kind of... Because I mean, being pot positive, I mean that's that those two words, that phrase is uh, is unique to me. Like I've never heard that used before, in, instead of except for with you guys. So like, where did where was like kind of your your humble beginnings with the whole project? So I mean, I've, I'm a D and D player, 27 years. Uh, I started playing very young, watching my older brothers play. Fell in love with the hobby like everybody else does. Um, it kind of helped me evolve as an artist. I, uh, I became an actor and a director, a writer, a producer, and just did a lot. I've, I've been working in the Las Vegas theater scene for, shoot, the last like 15 years now. And uh, I've always stood up against some of the commonly held stereotypes. Um, I, I don't think of video games or D&D as wasted time in, in any capacity. I think it really is kind of a cool gift to flex your imagination in those ways. And so through video games and through Dungeons and Dragons, I started building really vivid imagery in my mind and I found the theater and eventually film uh, as a way to outlet that, um, taking on old classics like Shakespeare and uh, uh, modernizing them a little, not, not really like making them modern, but stylistically modernizing them, making them sexy and intense and uh, and dripping with you know visceral energy and things like that and so honestly it's like my ability to kind of transfer to character i i almost attribute it entirely to dungeons and dragons growing up um and just <laughs> taking those those risks vocally and uh <laughs> right yeah. and uh yeah so it i mean honestly i it, it's they go hand in hand for me like um that's i mean that's kind of where i'm at now that the the pot twist <laughs> on that um i am a, i'm a cannabis user i uh I see so many positives in it as an alternative source when compared to something like alcohol uh, with its many ill effects, including just the monetary cost in society that it has, um, which you can actually measure in dollars and cents. So um, I certainly agree with uh, the need in the current world for a head change. And uh, I find marijuana to be the perfect thing, especially for anybody delving into the world of imagination and arts. Um, it's just a nice little conduit between those things. So. Right, right. So if you like what Brandon's doing, come over and support him. Give him some likes. Give him some shares. If you don't like it, tell him. He, yeah. He'll be he'll be down to hear what tell you got to say. <laughs> yeah. He wants to hear tell about. Him he shit. wants to hear from you too, just like yeah. we do. I love passion. So, you know, wh wh wherever it's directed, I enjoy passion. If you love this show, I'm Jess, and if you hated it, it's it's all jam. jam <laughs> hey. So. So, you know, thanks again for being on, man. It was a great time having you. Man, it was a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for having me, man. Go, uh, go cannabis.